Hey, 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 good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Today, I'm going to sit there and show you how to make this triple decker hot dog sandwich. So be sure to grab a hold of that vine and swing out in my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today. Now, what I have here on my board is I have some 100% all beef hot dogs. I have provolone cheese. I have a mild cheddar cheese. And these are all sliced. And then I have some hard salami. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the hot dogs and I'm just going to butterfly them up. Okay, now basically you're just going to want to sit there and butterfly the hot dog. Just cut down the middle of it, but don't cut all the way through. Then we're going to spread it open and put it inside our loaf pan, as I have done here. And then on the side here, you're going to find out your loaf pan has extra space. So I just cut my hot dogs right in half. Now, I'm just going to take these hot dogs out of the loaf pan here and over to my grill and we're going to sit there and fry these all up on both sides. Okay everybody, I brought my nice little DeLonghi grill over here and now I'm just going to sit there and place the hot dogs all on my grill and we're just going to crisp them up on both sides. Now remember, all my hot dogs I pre-butterflied. So go ahead, spread them all down across our grill. I loaded up the DeLonghi Live the Ones of Grill up with the butterfly hot dogs. Now I'm going to sit there and come down, set the temperature at 450 degrees. I'm going to put the sear button on and I'm going to sit there and cook these for a minute. I'll be back. The grill is just about to sound off and we're going to sit there cook these up for another minute. So I'll be back after grilling these up for an additional minute. Mm -mm. Does it smell good in here? All right, we're gonna take another look. See, I want to get them crisper than that. So we're gonna go for one more minute. So I set the time for another minute. I'm searing them some more, and I'll see you in one more minute. Okay, it's going to be sounding off again. Oh, yes. That's what I want to sit there and see. Now I'm just going to transfer these over into my cast iron pan that I have lined with aluminum foil. And I brought my board back over with our salami, or our hard salami, our mild cheddar cheese, and our provolone cheese. So now let me get my fork so I can sit there and transfer these dogs because we need to get a layer down into the bottom of our loaf pan. Just as such, I don't know if it's capturing it over here on the side. <laughs> I don't know either, Mom. <laughs> well, if you would be a nice little husband and be cameraman. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't you tell me wrong. You want to eat? Oh, See, that's how we do that, folks. 
So we're going to sit there, put a layer down of provolone cheese. Let's get a layer right down at this other end because I hate seeing that little end going to waste. Put our cheese all the way to the end. So there we have a layer of provolone down. Let's grab our cheddar cheese. Now, you're going to want a layer of cheddar cheese down all the way to the other end as well. Okay, now grab some of that hard salami. And go ahead, place a layer of the hard salami down. And you know what? We're going to sit there and play Henry VIII, I am, I am. Henry VIII, I am. Second verse, same as first. We're going to put another luscious layer of these hot dogs down and now we're just gonna sit there and repeat we're gonna sit there and put a layer of the cheese down just as such let's grab another layer of the cheddar Put that down and then we need to have another layer. Yeah, I got a piece of hot dog for ya. Yeah, I do. Would mama cook a hot dog without cooking you one? Huh? Would mama do that? Huh? I got you one. It has to cool though. There's a layer of our sausage down. And here's our final layer of the butterfly hot dog going down. And my baby, he's ringing his little dinner bell over there. All right, final layer of the provolone. Final layer of our cheddar and the very last layer of the salami. Now we're just going to put this in a hot 350 degree oven and we're going to cook it until all the layers of cheese are all melted and our salami is crisp up and tanned up and I have two little doggies that are waiting for their treat and I have a hot dog here that I'm gonna go give them a treat ho 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 here's loving from that oven Oh my god, look at that, look at that, and let the cheese harden up a little bit so it's a little bit easier for us to slice, and we'll slice it up and put it all on our rolls. Oh, look at that beauty, and the reason why I put it in the aluminum foil is it'll be easy cleanup. I put my fries in my fake out takeout basket. Now I also toasted up my buns because I like toasted bones. Now we're going to sit there and grab our bun. Go ahead, place it right in your 
Oh, it's fake out, take out basket. Now, let's set our beans off to the sides. Just gonna sit there, grab a hold of that tin foil. I'm just gonna peel this all back and get this off of the tin foil and tin foil in the garbage can it goes and okay let's continue to remove it from the tin foil and put it onto our cutting board and we're gonna commence cutting this baby up and putting it inside of our toasted buns. So, I'll be back as soon as I'm all done transferring it onto <laughs> my cutting board. Come on, Betsy. There we go. Yeah, look. Right here's my cleanup. Now, if I believe correctly, this is that one little end that would have been all empty and blank, but we filled it in because we cut our hot dogs in half. So I'm just gonna cut that portion off. Believe me, it's not gonna go to waste, not in this household. Ha ha ha. Look at that, I cut perfectly too. You can sit there and see the other hot dogs. I mean, look at that. Ah, oh, can you imagine all them layers going inside your bun? Now, I'm going to continue to cut the rest of these. And then we're going to put it on top of our buns. So, I'm going to cut it about there. Oh. Oh, what? hold it, I didn't get all the way through. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you see this? Look at that. Oh my goodness. You guys gotta get a close up to do this. Oh, look at that triple decker. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, look at that goodness right there. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, that's how easy it was to make this wonderful hot dog sandwich. Now, if you liked what you saw here today, please give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're not yet a subscriber, go up, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put on a new video. And as always, here's the happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, here, and y'all have yourselves a happy 4th of July.